Hi guys, uh, this hard drive came in not too long ago and today we'll be doing some data recovery services on it. So um, this device is a Samsung three and a half inch hard drive um, and uh, it's acting a little um, funny. So there are no abnormal sounds coming from it, no clicking noises, uh, no beeping sounds and the drive spins up um, normally as um, you would think at first but it does not come ready and um, after a, a while uh, maybe like 20 30 seconds in it just uh, shuts the spindle down and uh, stops spinning so what are we going to do today is we're going to troubleshoot this and try to recover it i think this unit has really good chances uh, to uh, give us the data hopefully in as its shape without having to replace heads on it even though i do have a donor for that First things first, I'm gonna hook up a terminal to it. So this is a Seagate attachment. Plug that in. Then SATA cables and power. This is currently hooked up to channel number one. Let me just have the mic right next to it so you guys can actually hear what's going on. So power up. So after it makes that slight calibration sound, the device power goes off. I feel no force on the drive. The spindle is not spinning. So, but uh, the PCB is still hot because um, well, the power is being fed. This is a Samsung drive, obviously. Um, Samsung, not C8 spin point. I'm gonna enter the utility. We're just gonna ask for it politely to go there. Um, based on the model, um, I do know that this is this is the HD 103 SJ. Belongs to F3, and this message here that comes up it tells us quite um, a good amount of what's going on. Um, so utility start. So this problem, it's a pretty common problem for. Um, Samsung devices, uh, the LAD uh, 1A04. We don't even really have to wait for it to initialize. Just go into a terminal, and you can see that this message keeps running back. Um, the solution is already uh, part of the utility, and we just have to take uh, necessary steps to uh, correct it. Unlocking at LAD uh, 1AXXR, I'm gonna run this feature. That Spins, that spins the drive up and right away gives the ready signal. So usually this problem is caused by a failing head and um, corrupted A-list. Uh, so we will have uh, a look at the sector access. Uh, go in here, try to access sector zero. And uh, this is good. This is first sector. Uh, we want to make sure that the drive can read. Oh, uh, we didn't update the uh, ID, so it only reads the sector zero. So let's go ahead and hit Alt V. Uh, so that our proper ID comes up and the proper size comes up. So now in the sector edit, we actually know what the last final LVA is. I'm going to go ahead and try to read that. That reads also um, well. And uh, therefore, we can actually perform um, a head test to see uh, if heads can read. So this is head zero. And I'll just let it run for a while. Head zero. I wouldn't be surprised if one of those heads is not performing as quickly. But we may get lucky and the head may just start to develop issue and it already corrupted the A-list because of that. So that's head two, or head one, I should say. It starts with head zero, head one, head two, and head three. This is the head two, and it's the third one in the sequence. 
there's our bad head, head number three. So the head number three is going to be the problematic one. I'm not going to force it to read further. But uh, in this condition, the drive most likely will require a head replacement uh, to be done on it eventually. But we don't want to um, um, start off the procedure with it yet. Maybe we'll get lucky and get the needed information in as this condition. So how do we go about it? First of all, we need to uh, address a couple of issues here. And the issue number one is that uh, since leave enter it again that way we'll have information about uh, the uh, modules directory go back tools module stable now we have it let's read the modules the module 13 is the a list and that's the one that's got some corruption in it. Yeah. Auto reassign list. So um, we're going to go here and uh, in the um, utility status, I'm going to disable read look ahead and we're going to lower this uh, number down. Read retry count. That way it's not going to dump more and more information into this list as frequently as it used to. Uh, save that. And okay, I just want to confirm that it's actually saved it. Yeah. And uh, last thing that we have to do is go into the um, defects list, a list clearing. And I'm going to pick this first option here. Go ahead and run that. That's completed. Power off and on, and that should give us um, access to the drives. Um, uh, it will allow us to access the drive without the need to uh, run the procedure that we ran before, unlocking it. LED, as you can see, the drive is now stays. The drive stays spinning, and it came up ready on its own after power uh, reset. So that's good. Uh, just quickly gonna double check again access to the uh, user area and it's got first sector access and the last sector access now um, we just have to uh, go ahead and start the task the head map is going to be built and that will help us isolate uh, that failed head number three um, but hopefully um, it's still got some juice in it and we may be able to even read some information with it. Uh, working with the drive um, that has one or more than one dead head but still gives access uh, partially to the uh, content, best strategy is always to capture uh, the uh, directory and uh, build a virtual uh, boot for it and uh, go from there because that way you at least know where the files are located you don't not blindly imaging the whole thing to find out what the results are but you will actually be able to target specific parts of the drive sometimes which is what the client would need if it's like a um, operating system disk it will have a user profile they don't really care about everything else so that would be working out pretty well if we can capture uh, the MFT record if this turns out to be uh, like a Windows based hard drive so let's go ahead and see that um, now that we've got our head map built, we can see there are four heads in there. And these are the partitions that are listed. We're going to be going after the second partition, which is MTFS. It's wonderful. We want to build a map of MFT. And we want to image that MFT map. You can see most of it falls on, I'm hoping head three is not involved in recording um, that MFT record. And all the beauty about Samsung drives is that their heads actually run for a really long time before they have to switch. So um, with head three being the last head involved, our MFT record belongs to only head zero and one entirely. And that's uh, 1.6 gigs, which is pretty big. On any other hard drive, we would have a gap, but this was good enough. 
and now we're going to switch it to work with copy only and have it scanned so once we scan it uh, we can actually select specific folders and work with those folders directly uh, that's the beauty about um, working with head maps and uh, building um, maps and sub maps uh, during imaging process to uh, eliminate unnecessary uh, time that was going to be wasted and potential risk of killing the drive prematurely by imaging the stuff that the customer is not interested in so I hope you guys learned something new. This was pretty straightforward procedure, but it uh, would completely lock you out if you didn't know what you're doing. It would completely um, prevent any type of access. Data recovery software would not be able to help with this. So uh, work with service area was necessary in order to get access to this device. Uh, and that's what uh, we just did. So thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and monitor the process once uh, this MFT table is scanned and hopefully uh, there's still some tiny bit of life in that head three. The MFT table was scanned now and um, 357 gigs uh, had been selected and that's what we're going to be concentrating around and as you guys can see head three is performing quite well 77, 78 uh, megabytes per second that's pretty much as high as uh, uh, this drive is gonna get up to uh, so overall I'm very pleased with the performance of this device so it looks like it's a completely successful case at this point and uh, everything should be recovered in approximately hour and 11 minutes uh, that's from whatever I was missing uh, to this point out of the image because we're right now only concentrating on head three so thank you guys very much for tuning in as always uh, if you have any questions don't forget to comment underneath the video